Hi everyone! My name is Miss Maria and today we are going to be talking about farm animals. Who has ever been to a farm? Awesome. Um, who knows who knows what kind of animals are on the farm? There's cows, chickens, ducks, goats, horses, pigs. There's so many different kind of animals on the farm. It's crazy. Who knows what those animals do on the farm? Do they do anything special? That's right. Cows can make milk, chickens lay eggs, pigs roll around in the mud. They all do all kinds of different things. Well, the animals that are gonna be in our story today are a little different and they do different things that normally farm animals don't do. So we're gonna talk about a few things that they do and then we'll get right into the story. So who knows what this is? Who knows what this is? It's a typewriter. A typewriter is something that was used before computers and they were, it was something that was used to type on just like a computer, except this little piece of paper, you could just snatch right off of it and be done. And you wouldn't have to print it off, it would just already be there. Okay, who knows what this is? Does anyone know? This is called a strike. So a strike is something that usually adults do if they don't like some kind of rule or something isn't fair at their job and so they want to go against it to fix it and make things fair. That is a strike. Who knows, I bet you some people know who this is, what is this? Who knows what that is? That's right, it's a diving board. A diving board is what you use at the pool and you can jump on the diving board and it leaps you into the pool and you just, you jump into the pool off of it and it helps you jump really high just like this lady is. She's jumping super high and going right into the water. Okay, last one. Who knows what this is? This is an electric blanket. You can use this to keep you super, super warm. And it usually comes with a cord. It's a blanket that comes with a cord. And there's an, a, a remote attached to it. And that remote helps you heat up the blanket to help you be super, super warm. That is an electric blanket. So the animals in the story do those things. So we gotta keep that in mind, okay? So our story is called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. They're typing on what? A typewriter, which is what we just talked about. This is by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Betsy Lewin. Here we go. Let's see what these animals are gonna do. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type all day long. He hears click clack, moo, click clack, moo, clickety clack, moo. What are they doing? They're typing. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click clack, moo. Click clack, moo, clickety clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. <gasps> Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We leak like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. 
electric blankets? The cows want electric blankets. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. So they're angry, so they're not going to give Farmer Brown any milk. He's very angry. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Just typing away on that typewriter. I wonder what they're going to type next. <gasps> the next day, he got another note. Oh, no. It says, Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold, too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. So these hens, they're cold, too, and they also want electric blankets. What is Farmer Brown going to do? The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. So now the hens are on strike. They're not going to give any eggs until they get the electric blankets. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. That means he was very, very angry and mad. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. So he's demanding that he wants it right now. Duck was the neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The ultimatum is like, the decision that they have to make. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. See, there's a cat, um, a pig. What else? Hmm, looks like a sheep, maybe? waiting to see what they're going to do. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning and handed Farmer Brown a note. What does the note say? Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. So they're going to give up their typewriter if he gives them electric blankets. So let's see if let's see if Farmer Brown does it. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. It was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Look, there are all all the, the hens and the cows with their electric blankets and their remotes to go with them. All warm and sleeping in the barn. The next morning, he got a note. <gasps> Farmer Brown got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. <gasps> Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. So they want a diving board to dive into their pond. <gasps> Splash. There's the diving board right there. 
The end. So those animals were a little crazy and did some things that normally animals don't do, but that's okay. So now we're going to make ourselves look like those animals. We're gonna move our bodies. So I want everyone to make sure they have enough room, okay, on the floor. So the first pose that we're gonna do, these are called yoga poses, okay? The first yoga pose that we're gonna do is the cow pose. How are we gonna make ourselves look like a cow? I'll tell you. So you wanna get on your hands and knees, put your hands on the floor, knees on the floor. You want your back straight, you wanna look forward, and you wanna moo like a cow. Moo, moo. Did you moo like a cow? All right, the next one that we're going to do is pretend like we're hens. So I want everyone to get up on their feet, okay? You gotta keep your balance. Keep your knees up off the ground. Put your arm hands on your hips. And if you can, I want you to try and flop your wings like a hen and go, what, what sound do hens make? Cluck, 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 cluck. Yep. Everyone looks like a great Hen. Okay, the next one is a pig. <gasps> what do pigs do? They roll around in the mud. So we're gonna pretend we're rolling in the mud. So I want you to lay on your back. On your back on the floor. Okay, put your feet up in the air. Grab your feet, grab your little toes, and roll back and forth. Roll. And what do pigs say? What do pigs say? Oink, 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 oink. Or you could snort just like a pig and roll back and forth. Perfect. Okay, the last one. We're gonna pretend we're a duck. So I want everyone to get up. And you can't see my head, but it's okay. I want you to squat and put your knees together and waddle like a duck and go quack, 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 waddle like a duck. Everyone did such a great job. I'm so proud of everyone. Thank you for listening to my story and pretending to be different animals with me. Now at home, you can pretend to be different animals on the farm and do different poses that you can make up on your own or with your family or siblings, other friends, doesn't matter. But thank you and I hope everyone has a great day, bye.